Hello everyone, and welcome back to Modern Sky Block 3. Since last time, I've done a bit of research and reading up on Silence Gems, because that is the mod we will be doing today. But, we have also expanded this platform out to make room for a building, and made a chorus fruit and planted that, because you need chorus in order to get endstone, which I have made our condenser and the combustion casing out of, so that we can make stuff faster. <clears throat> so that is pretty useful. And now we can come on over here, where we will start silence gems. Now, I've already done this, the regular gems, so we can claim that. And I made some netherrack and got all the dark gems, so we can claim that. These come from endstone, which is really hard to make. <laughs> So, I didn't get all of them, though I did get some of them, so, yeah. And the Chaos Essence you can get, and then you craft it like this into Enriched Chaos Essence, which completes this quest as well. So we can claim that, we can open our loot, full slime armor, void transport pipe, and garbage. Okay then. <laughs> Getting a lot of really weird stuff out of some of these. Uh... <laughs> Yeah. Anyway, so we've done those now. Now, oh, I do need both. Okay. So, you need... The main thing that I want to get out of this is I want to get the flight chaos rune. Because <laughs> uh, I want to fly. Flying's pretty cool. And, yeah, that'll be interesting. But it will take a lot of this stuff to get it. So, not entirely sure the exact number, but it's a lot. Yeah. So, we need the Passive Chaos Pylon and the Burner Chaos Pylon, which means we need some Lapis and Redstone, which I already have. Come on over here and do that. We will need a second, so I will need more of that, but I'll get that stuff later. We can make our Passive, and we need a Furnace. Ding. Two Redstone Blocks. One, two, and two. And then we can get another one of those to make the burner pylon. Okay. <laughs> this is a very interesting thing. One, two, three. Wah. And ding, 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 da ding. Dong. Burner pylon. Yay. So that is this done. Pretty easy. Doesn't take too much. The main limiting factor of me being able to complete this is um chaos because you need a lot of chaos <laughs> like a lot of chaos I'm, I'm already down to nine it uses a lot every recipe uses a lot and it's not like particularly easy to get so next thing we need is this chaos altar which needs two diamonds that i don't have currently on me Ta -da. um so i need another one of these dink and now we need that Chaos Altar. Now, the space... Oh, oh, I just realized. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so, I can place this down anywhere, really. Um, and then I'll stick this guy, like, right here. And then I need to feed him furnace fuel. So, like, coal and stuff. That'll probably work. Um, and that will generate chaos. I have some coal. Some more coal. I just use coal, because coal is something I can get fairly easily, because I have wood and stuff. So we do that, and you generate chaos that should be going into here. Whoa, shooting at me. Don't shoot me. <laughs> is this, how can I see the chaos is generating? I can't really. Okay. Well can't see how much is in here, but what I can see is that there's a way of generating infinite chaos, which I completely forgot about until like two seconds ago, that I just, you know, remembered and learned for myself. I didn't Google it, it's just, it just should be common knowledge, really. Uh, <laughs> you can turn um, these, these into nine chaos shards, and then you can come like that, put eight in there with a diamond and 
should... Oh, that's slow. But it, this 4 will generate 1 chaos. And then you can turn that 1 chaos back into 9, and the cycle just keeps repeating. However, this does use a lot, and this is kind of slow, which is unfortunate. So I will need to make more pylons eventually. But again, I don't have the chaos. So, yeah, I'm going to wait and do a lot more grinding of stuff to get more chaos, to make more pylons, to get this going faster, to get more chaos, and etc, etc. Eventually, we'll have a lot of these, and this will look a lot better, and it'll get stuff a lot faster. So I'm going to get that. Alright, I have done a lot of waiting and a lot of crafting, and now... I made Chaos Topaz, Rune of Flight, Rune of Recharge, and Rune of Capacity. Dink! Now this will slowly fill itself up with Chaos, and then we can use it. Uh, I'm pretty sure yeah, we have to like shift right click it, I think, to turn it on. But I don't really want to do that until it's full on Chaos, so if I stick that in there, yeah, it charge it on faster. Cool! Uh, originally I was going to put speed on there, but, eh, <laughs> probably do haste, actually. I think that'll work better <clears throat> once we get there. That charged fairly quickly, and it output to here. Added in some hoppers, and I got this maxed out with the four pylons, too, just to make getting chaos easier. So, yeah. So, if I shift right-click, uh, how fast is the drain? Four, three, two, oh, it goes up, though. I guess it's because we're near the altar. If I run away from the altar, though. Uh, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 1, 0, sign 8. Okay. That's it's not terrible. Um, and I can turn it off. And that should go back up on its own. Slowly, but it will. So, that's good. Alright, now we can fly. This is amazing. <laughs> I like having the ability to fly. Especially when we didn't have it before. Um, we can also claim that quest, because I didn't do that. And magenta balloons. Oh boy, I love magenta balloons. They go really great for throwing off the void. <laughs> okay, throwing off the void? Throwing into the void. That makes more sense. Anyway, there are a couple more things of science gems. Again, this will take a while. Um, but the material grater shouldn't be too difficult to make. We just need some more... Chaos ingots, or chaos iron ingots, um, which aren't too hard to get. Let's see if I did this right. Yes, uh, how many did we need? I don't remember these things. Greater uh, three, so two, three. And yeah, so we can stick those in there. Grab some gold. Grab a magnifying glass that we've happened to acquire from over here somewhere. Should be at least one. No. Did I? Oh, yeah, they're here. Haha. -ha. I remember now. I got two of them at least, so once we get that last one, we can get this made. It's not, I mean, I'm not going to use silence um, for tools, just because I don't really want to. <laughs> It's complicated. Well, it's not really that complicated, but I like tinkers more, so... Yeah. And records. Oh, boy. I love records. They're so much fun. Get oh, I have no open space left. That's cool, too. Uh, <laughs> I'll just stick this down with the other Silence gem stuff. Over here. Fly on over if I wanted. Wow. Now I can grade materials if I felt like it. Cool. And I will stick some more chaos in there, because I think it could use it. There we go. Keep making me chaos. Amazing. Um, I don't really want to leave this on all the time, just because I'll run out of power, but <laughs> run out of the energy. Um, let's see what else. Storing chaos, or find chaos orb that we don't have enough to make. Glowing rose. Glowing rose fertilizer. Glowing rose. No? Did I say glow rose? Oh, not glow ro glowing rose. Glow Rose. Bone meal around one chaos. Why is chaos just like everything, you know? What about the other parts of this? 
There's, the, there's a bunch of other like cool gems, but nope, chaos. <laughs> if you don't have chaos, you can't do like anything, which is really unfortunate. Doink, Glorious Fertilizer. That's that, and I need to get all of them. How are these made? It's just, you use this and it'll create a bunch of glow roses. Wah. Hey, I guess it is. It's like Botanica, but worse. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, I guess I got like two a time. So that's just a lot of waiting and getting glow roses. Okay then. Well, we almost finished Silence, because it's a pretty, pretty short, pretty short thing. Uh, I can check up on this. Let's see how we're doing. We got two more. Cool, cool. Uh, let's turn some more of that into this. It's always nice to keep that going. That's why I have the hoppers, so it's completely automated. Well, semi-completely automated-ish. Okay. Well, silent. Well, we've done what I wanted to with silence for now. Um, if there's something else that I want to do, I'll probably do it. But. Until then, I won't. Haha. -ha. <laughs> uh, but we might as well continue along with the other magic quests. Um, just cause I, I've never used Psy before, so I'll wait to do that later cause I know it's kind of confusing. So let's go ahead and continue on with some random things, like making an imbuing station, which is really weird. Vines and lily pads. How the heck? Vines from jungle trees and lily pads from fishing. How about vines from jungle trees and lily pads from, like, alchemically turning the vines into something else? Uh, <laughs> is it? Okay. I will get crafting, get the stuff for this, and get the stuff needed to make the other bits here. Ectoplasm and... Yeah. Oh. Kill it with potions or other magical items? Ugh. Okay. Oh, we need to make other stuff too. Well, I'll look up how to get that stuff and we can get it. And I'll be back. Alright, I've done some crafting, some looking up. And I forgot to grab coal. That's great. That is absolutely wonderful. Anyway, <laughs> now that I have coal, we can make the fire imbue. Wahaha. And I'm planning on using the imbues that I get to kill the spirits to get ectoplasm. <laughs> Just because that seems to be the best way to do it. So we have a fire imbue. Poison imbue is spider, rotten flesh, and red mushroom. Alright, I got a red mushroom, so we can stick this in with that. And we can get ourselves a poison imbue. And then we get an experience imbue when that goes with lapis and a glowstone, along with a lesser magic bean. That's just a bean surrounded by um, uh, gold nuggets. So, pretty pretty simple stuff here. Not, not too incredibly difficult, which is nice. Anyway, poison is done, then we can do that and get the other one. All the while this is still going. How much we got? 34 in there. Nice. Well, let's get even more. Aw, oh, yeah. Um, okay, and that's done. So, what exactly does this do? Increases the experience monsters drop by 50%. And that is a quest complete. Yeah. Um, let's see, I'll try killing Enderman and see if he drops a, sp a spirit. Nope, but he did drop a bunch of nebulous hearts. Stop running away. No spirit. No spirit. Um. What if I, like, dug in here? That's not a right good place to dig. Dug, like, here. Hi. Let's see if a spirit spawns. Ow. Um. I don't see one. <laughs> doesn't necessarily mean one didn't spawn, but I don't see one, so. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Well, I'll just have to sit and wait for, like, ten years for one to spawn, and then, then I'll kill it with the potions, and it'll be amazing. 
when it happens in, you know, 10 years. Uh, <laughs> well, I can try killing cows. Spirit? Nope. Spirit? Nope. Spirit? Nope. Spirit? You didn't die? Spirit? Nope. Um. Spirit? Nope. You? Spirit? Nope. Ah. Uh, I feel like I've just purged all the um, things I have. You, spirit. Nope. Uh, you, spirit. Nope. This is not going well for me. Uh, you, spirit. Spirit, spirit. Nope, no spirit. You just don't have the spirit. It's very unfortunate. It's a very unmotivated group today. <laughs> Uh, let's get rid of this bunch of this stuff. And we can open this loot chest. Let's see. Duh. Factory tech stuff. I don't know. We'll be doing that soon. Probably next episode. So I guess it's good to have. Actually, next episode's going to be actually additions, most likely. Um, just, just so you know. In case you want to watch that. Or don't want to watch that. Or want to read up on actually editions before you watch it so you can point out how I'm doing everything wrong. You know, you get it, right? <laughs> uh, it's funny. Anyway, still need that spirit. But, um, until it appears, I can't really progress through random things. So, unless, no, both of these require killing ghosts. So I need a spirit. Come on out, Mr. Spirit. I know I know you've had a hard time, because I haven't killed you before, but I'm ready to kill you now, so just come on out. We can all be friends. We'll have a nice death party together. Anyone? Spirit? Mr. Blizz? Is there a spirit in there? Can't tell. Looks like... Oh, there is. Yes. Okay. So, fire. Wait, what? Is this not a splash potion? Fire imbue. So it's... Oh, I thought that was like a splash potion. It just died. Okay, well... I was wrong about how these work. So that means I actually need potions. Of course! Of course, now I have to set up a brewing stand. A brewing stand. Of all the things, I need a brewing stand. Really? Okay. Well, I'm going to get a brewing stand set up. I'm going to get some potions of harming made. Um, and then we can kill a spirit. For real this time. I did it. I killed an enderman. Spirit spawned. Got killed it with a splash potion of harming. And ectoplasm. Aw, oh, yeah. So it's this loot bag. A bunch of random junk that I don't care about. Aw, oh, yeah. <laughs> Yay. Alright, a Spectre Key and Spectre Sapling. This gives a really low chance, but if you look, you can get two ectoplasm from one tree. Okay. Um. Is that worth getting? Like, let's see. Spectre Sapling. Right click of vanilla that drops ectoplasm and cut down. This, so the spectre it can get, ooh, that is expensive. Like, one, two, three, four, five, seven. Seven ectoplasm for nine? Ooh. <laughs> for nine ingots, and then I need the spectre key and this, but that's super easy. So nine ingots. Um, okay. Well, I mean, that's all the quests that are here, so I might as well do that and not throw stuff on the ground that shouldn't be on the ground. But I will need to continue killing uh, the spirits to get stuff, which is kind of annoying, but oh well. Uh, stick that in there. This gets me XP, because I need so much of that right now. Uh, <laughs> let me get a sapling. I will make a specter sapling. Yeah for the quest, because of farming stuff. Oh yeah, then you grow one, so now I got a specter sapling. Does this work? Probably not. Let me break it just so it registers here. Amazing. And now we wait for that to grow, <laughs> however long that may take. 
Well, while we're waiting, um, let's see. Also, because I can fly, I can run around and get uh, the end gems that are floating in the sky a lot easier. So I've gotten some more. I still haven't gotten all of them, which is kind of disappointing. But I can just walk all the way out here, come down, meow, grab the gems, and then leave again. And I don't need to build out to it or anything like that. So that makes this easier. Though I still need, let's see, one, two, three, more, three different types still. So, just gonna run around out here, mining up some endstone, <laughs> till I get them, I guess. I don't remember what they're called, but, oh well. And some appear to be, I think that was one. I think those were both the one that I needed. Um... One more. Soda light. <laughs> Not a light soda, mind you. Soda light. You put the adjective after the word. Because why not? You know, techite, pyrope, jade. If it's not soda light, I'm just not going to it. Coral, appetite, pyrope, kunzite, coral, rose quartz, kyanite, kyanite, coral, cat's eye, fluorite, coral. Uh, I don't want to get lost. There's my base. Okay. Um, is this endstone? I think that's netherrack. Yeah, it gets kind of kind of hard when you <laughs> can't see your base anymore, and when there's only one type left. Like, come on, uh, soda, soda light, pearl, not soda light, huh? No soda. Where did the soda light go? <laughs> Here, fluorite, sunstone, zircon, kyanite. Why is there no soda light anywhere? I think it shouldn't be this hard to find. I wouldn't think. Zircons. Oh, hey, there we go. Soda light. Gimme. Yay. And now I can attempt to find my base. I think it's somewhere around this way. This direction. Seems right. Yeah, there we go. Cool. That's the light gems quest completed. So that's nice. The glowing roses I'll grind off camera because that's going to take a while to get all of them. Um, so that's how that's going to work. And Spectre Tree hasn't grown yet. It's very disappointing, though I didn't really expect it to have grown. So I'm going to leave this here. Like, subscribe if you enjoyed. If you comment any feedback you have for me, next episode, be building a large building for actually additions. And that'll be pretty cool. Uh, and flying will make that easier. So, uh, and I will see all of you later.